Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Tell me if you've heard this one before. You're starting to make farms as you run out of sheep and berries, and for the first eight farms, it's easy to fit them around your town center. Maybe just the first seven if you didn't plan it very well. They're super close to drop off the food, and they're very safe if you're attacked. So far, so good. Now you start doing some feudal stuff. Maybe you're making scouts or men at arms or whatever, and you start to make more farms, but all the good spots around your town are used up. Should you double up the farms outside the current ones way out there, or do you make a mill kind of nearby and build around that? If you're in Castle Age, you probably just make a new town center. So this question applies to between the first eight farmers and the point that you have more town centers. Now obviously if you have a close mill from your berries, you just use that. But maybe your berries are far away and it's kind of risky if you get rushed, or it's Scandinavia and you didn't have berries nearby. Whatever the case, you're not sure if you should double up the farms or build a mill. What should you do? Well, despite what you might think immediately here, it's not really a clear-cut answer just looking at it. Building the farms farther away means a slower food income because of increased walking distance, but building a mill is a hundred wood. It's like making a wood investment for faster food income, but how much extra food are we talking about and how quickly does it pay back? Let's take a look, and if we can't answer it outright, at least we can add some facts to the discussion. So I ran a town with these eight farmers for 10 minutes. I picked that amount of time because it's about the lifespan of a farm, so they'd have a reseed in there. It turns out the eight farmers collect about 18.1 food per minute per farm. That's going to be our baseline for the rest of this. As a side note, I checked all of these with and without the wheelbarrow tech, and the numbers I'm giving are without wheelbarrow, but the wheelbarrow has a consistent effect for all the different layouts of increasing the gather rate by 13.2 to 13.6%. So it didn't really change the outcome and it seems to affect them all about equally. So first I'm going to add a mill and put seven farmers in the general area. It's not necessarily the most efficient layout, but it looks reasonable to me of something that you might see in a game. In total they collected 2,657 food and once I subtract the 1,446 that the inner eight collect and divide by seven, I find the villagers around the mill are collecting 17.3 food per minute. The geometry is such that they don't fit as nicely around the mill as the town center, so I'd expect a small drop off like that. Now if I go back to the basic setup and add 7 farmers outside the old ones, doubling up, I can see how this compares. I left the inner villagers in there since the bumping that happens isn't something I want to eliminate. That's part of what I'm looking at. Again, it might not be the perfect place to put them, but it seems reasonable to me. I'm expecting the collection rate for these new seven to be the lowest yet, since they have to walk extra distance. That's exactly what we see, and after controlling for the collection of the inner villagers, it looks like the new outer ones average about 15.5 food per minute. So what does it all mean? Well, building seven farms around a mill instead of outside your first farms gives you 12.4 more food per minute than doubling them up. Is that a lot of food? Well, no. It means it takes about 8 minutes to pay back your initial 100 resources for the mill, and they'll come back to you as food instead of wood. That's very slow just to break even, and you haven't even made a profit at that point. It's basically giving away 100 wood and waiting 8 minutes before you even get 100 food back. For the Japanese, the mill is half the cost, so it might be worth it in that case, but considering how many other things you'll need wood for at the time you're likely building these farms, it's probably better economically not to make a new mill. As a side note, you're probably safer having the villagers doubled up as well, since they're technically going to be a bit closer to the town center. Normally in videos like this, I like to leave some ambiguity in the answer, but this one seems pretty clear cut. I guess over the course of a really long game, building the mill for those farmers could add up to a few hundred food, so that's one argument that you could make. Like I said at the beginning though, if you have a good mill from your berries just lying around that's close enough to your town center that you feel safe putting farms there, then that should be your first choice. That's probably the best case scenario, but this helps you have a backup plan. That'll do it for this one though, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.